PVC, plexiglass, Core 2, and DDR2. I know what you're thinking, I had you skipped was more interesting. Or was it? Hmm, stick around and see how my open air test bench sorta of thingy came to be. Hi folks and welcome to the channel. Now for most people, uh, cardboard testing is just fine. But uh, if you find yourself testing a lot of motherboards and a lot of different stuff, um, having uh, all your peripherals right in one spot that doesn't take up too much space or clutter can be better. My first attempt was a server sitting vertical, but the cords and nowhere to put a power supply were a problem. But you can't go wrong with PVC. For a couple dollars, you get a 10-foot section of it, and uh, you can trim it up to the size you need. And um, I'm using this plate that I took from an old uh, PC case that I just drilled out the rivets, and uh, this is my guide for this. So basically, it's all I did was take the half-inch PVC, and I cut eight sections, 12 inches long, and then uh, four sections, six inches long, and then I put it all together with eight 90-degree elbows, and I got all that at Lowe's, or you can get that at your local hardware store. And really, I didn't even bother to uh, glue it all together because it fits so snug, and if I needed to change something, it would be easy to do that. And uh, I figured I was going to sand and paint it anyway, so the paint would hold it together as well. So that turned out. If you're patient and a bargain shopper, you can usually find some SATA hard drives cheap on eBay for like 10 bucks a piece used. In case you're wondering what paint I use, I use a Valspar Project Perfect. It's a paint and primer, gloss, and it's for indoor and outdoor wood, metal, wicker, and more. And I had purchased that at Lowe's as well. It'll set you back like three dollars. All right, the fun part: start mocking it up. And I didn't have a plan going into this, so I'm just winging it as I go. This is a DG nine six five SS Intel motherboard. I had pulled out of a Nobilis build. I had made video about that a while back. And uh, let's go, let's get started. Start putting stuff on this thing. I'm attaching the hard drive and uh, on off switch and the USBs um, all to this piece of plexiglass here. Um, working with plexiglass is a little difficult. Uh, you have to drill it very slow or you're going to crack it. Now, if you don't mind a little hot melted plastic burning your arm when you're dremeling this, go ahead and do this for a 120 millimeter fan. Now this part here I bought a while back, it's um, basically it's for a computer that doesn't have a PCIe, it doesn't have the express slot the 16 times, and um, I just wanted to experiment with it because it was like $10, and uh, to see if you could actually just put it into the 16 times slot and uh, see if it would work or you lose performance or whatnot. If anything, it would be a great card dock. As for the theme, it was already red, so it was a no-brainer. I just picked my home team favorite hockey team and rolled with it. So even though this is a test bench, I did go ahead and spec it out for you guys. Using old parts and stuff, this is a Core 2 Duo 2.6 and um, 8 gigabytes of mismatched RAM there's like two 800's, uh, 533 and a 667 or something like that just old parts I had laying around and um, you know an old CPU cooler that I uh, dressed up um, only thing new is the power supply and I was like $15 one of them new egg giveaway were overstocked kind of things and it's uh, 450 a I believe Venus something or something like that and um you know, PVC, little imagination, um, yeah, DDR2, Core 2, still fun today. You can deal with it. I can. Um, I hope you like this video and you know what to do. And, uh, you know, keep watching and you might see something cool.